In this video guide, we're going to discuss getting started with Sierra Chart. We had a previous video that discussed how to get started. However, in the past few months, Sierra Chart has made a lot of optimizations and usability enhancements. And so, it's necessary for us to create a new video because the last one's just woefully out of date. So for this video guide, we're going to assume that you have the latest version of Sierra Chart. To find out what the latest version is, you can go to this URL, which is in the information of the video. And uh, as of now, it's at 749, but it's constantly being updated. You can see here they're on 750 tomorrow, um, it looks like, is when it's scheduled for release. So make sure you have the latest version. And we'll assume you have it downloaded and installed. And then we're just going to open Sierra Chart. And the first thing we need to do is set up a connection to our data feed. I'm currently using Optimus, and it's already trying to connect. In order to set up our data feed, though, we're going to want to go to File, Data, slash Trade Service Settings. And from here, we're going to select our service provider, depending on what brokerage firm. It could be any one of these. I'm with Optimus, so I'm going to choose Rhythmic. And I'm going to put in my username and password that my broker provided me. Once I've done that, I'll click OK. And then all I need to do is go to File, Connect to Data Feed. And up in the top right hand corner here, you can see it update. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is open a chart. And in order to do that, we can do it one of two ways. We can go to File, find symbol or click this hotkey right here FS which stands for find symbol. From there we can look through our available symbols and they're under other and futures and if you have other stuff on your data feed it'll be there as well. And here you can choose your contract month. I'm going to go ahead and choose the September S&P and I want to open an intraday chart. And what basically intraday and historical, historical is any chart that's one day or greater for the bar and intraday is anything less than a day so like five minute would be intraday historical would be daily chart or weekly chart so it'll download the historical data and it'll pull it up here as you can see it's loading it in it's gonna pull in OHLC chart style type by, by default and once that's complete we have our chart open Find symbol is not the only way to open a chart. We can also go to File New Historical Chart or New Intraday Chart, and we can open them that way. And that's if we've already opened one before. As you can see here, I have a list of intraday charts that I've opened before. So I can select from this, and I can open a chart with that method as well. If I click Open, it's going to pull open that chart with that data. If you get this symbol is unknown or click symbol for more information, it may be either out of date, which is the case in this one, where it's no longer the front month, so they're not providing data for it anymore, um, or you have entered the symbol incorrectly. And it has a helpful little feature here of just being able to click on that, and it'll pull you up to um, a helpful information page on getting the right symbols in there. So this is the first video, just a simple getting started with Sierra Chart. In uh, our next few videos, we're going to go over um, opening other charts, tweaking the chart settings, getting them to your liking, and uh, maybe even opening trades with Sierra Chart. Thanks for watching.